Alright guys, you're watching Le Bon Baker. I'm Le Bon Baker and today we're going to make a really beautiful lemon and vanilla cheesecake. This cheesecake is my mum's recipe. It is so tasty and really easy. Okay, for this recipe, we only need a few uh, simple ingredients. One of them is this gorgeous little pie or flan shell here, which I bought from the supermarket. Um, it's a sweet base as well, so you buy them frozen and then you just follow their cooking instructions. This one I just had to put in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes at a moderate heat, and you just bring it out once it's nice and golden and brown. For the filling, there's just four other things that we need. Come check it out. So I've got some lemon juice. I've got a tiny bit of vanilla essence in this one here. This is some cream cheese. And then last but not least, I've got sweetened condensed milk. So just the four ingredients and then your pie shell. And the main secret to this is beating it. So you've got to give it a really good beat. I'm going to use my KitchenAid that I've got over here. But if you've just got hand beaters, that is absolutely fine too. But for the full recipe, head to my website, lebonbaker.com and download the recipe for free. Now we need to start beating. So we're gonna start with our cream cheese here and give it a really good beat until it's really nice and smooth. Then what we're gonna do is add in our sweetened condensed milk in portions so we won't just dump it all in there at once. We'll just slowly add it in, making sure we keep beating, beating, beating. And then we'll finish it off with the lemon juice. Keep beating and then at the end, the vanilla essence, and you guessed it, we're gonna keep beating. In we go. Now a little tip, I've been letting my cream cheese sit out for a little while. You don't want it too hard, otherwise it's not gonna beat very nice and smoothly. So put it on the bench for a, a little while just before you need to use it. Okay, so my cream cheese is looking really nice and smooth, but what I'm going to do is just scrape down the sides really quickly and then just keep beating it until it becomes extra silky. So my cream cheese is looking gorgeous. I can't see any lumps, so now I'm going to move on to my sweetened condensed milk. So I'm just going to pour this in slowly. Uh, and keep beating as we go. Okay, so I've just had this going on a low beat for a little while now, just keep beating it the whole time and add in the ingredients slowly. Now that my sweetened condensed milk is all combined with the cream cheese, I'm gonna add in my lemon juice. And slowly, slowly, add in that lemon juice in pot. <music> Lastly, I'm just gonna add my vanilla essence today. And this can go all in. We don't need to add this in portions. There's just a tiny amount. And at the end, you want to taste the cheesecake and make sure it's not too sour. If it is a little bit too sour from the lemon juice, just add a touch more vanilla essence. All of my ingredients are now combined and I've been beating for about five minutes in total. But just keep beating until you think it looks right and until it's gorgeous, silky smooth and there's no lumps. Now it's time to add our gorgeous mixture into a cool pie shell. Look at this, so pretty. Now we're gonna put it in the fridge to set for about an hour to an hour and a half 
and then when you take it out you can decorate it however you like. Um, at the moment it's almost Christmas so I'm going to add some cherries to it. You could add some piped cream or some toasted coconut to yours. It will be so beautiful. This recipe I love so much. It's got a really gorgeous tang to it uh, but it's balanced out very nicely by the sweetened condensed milk and the vanilla essence and the cream cheese. So I hope you love it as much as I do. Thanks mum for this recipe. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you set aside some time for yourself to make such a beautiful cheesecake and do the things that you love. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for all tips, tricks and recipes for the home baker.